<laughs> hey, what's going on, everybody? Got the Omongo man out here in the shop this morning. Kenny has been a busy dude. He got her all cleaned up. Hear the echo? It's because there's no project in here right now. But we're about to change that because uh, Casper's coming in. We got to get the transfer case out of it. We got a whole bunch of stuff to do, an exhaust system to put on it, and uh, hopefully wheels and tires if we find a set of rims for it, that kind of stuff. But in the meantime, I'm going to uh, do some things here, try to get ready for next year's car show. I've always bought uh, little plastic trophies for the show, but we're not going to do that this year. I'm actually going to make my own. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with this transmission. I'm going to gut this thing and get all the gears out of it real quick and then uh, put those aside, get rid of the housing. That way we can have something to uh, build trophies out of. <clears throat> all right, let's get this thing apart. That transmission's got some issues. Boy, you can say that again. All right, so we're going to do a little voiceover here as we tear this transmission apart in the time-lapse video. As you can see, we're just kicking into some high speed here. We're getting the shifter cover apart. It's just a couple roll pins and stuff that's got to come out of it, and then it all snaps apart once you get the detent springs out of it. Going to give uh, some nice parts for the trophies. These couple nice uh, little rods there that we'll be able to use. Put the tail housing off of it, and then we got to go after some uh, snap rings and things. A bunch of bolts on the outside of this transmission that hold uh, counter shafts and low shaft and stuff like that in so you got to get those out as well this is out of that 94 ranger so this is that little mazda transmission uh looks like a pretty nice transmission inside other than uh you know you got to keep oil in them if you want them to live so we're continuing tearing the rear of the transmission apart so we can get the uh, main shaft the main output shaft out got a bearing off there now uh, trying to figure things out this is the first time i've ever torn one of these transmissions apart uh, pretty simple once you get it broke down, you got to get inside there, separate the input and output shaft from the main shaft part. Get them separated, and then you can lift that main shaft out just like I did there. <clears throat> Beat some of the bearings off. Right here, we're trying to get one of the uh, stuck on, uh, yeah, synchronizers off. So just pushing through there. A lot of beating. Uh, it wasn't until here about right now. Nope, not yet. Uh, I do have a press, and I didn't realize it or didn't remember that I had a press until right here. Uh, so we did use the press. Alrighty, so we did finally find the cause of the failure of this transmission. That transmission's got some issues. That gear was normally supposed to spin, and once it wasn't getting oil anymore, it stopped spinning because of the needle bearings literally friction welding themselves together into the shaft. Awesome, huh? So when that happened, it took the teeth off of this gear and she wouldn't go no more. So this is a classic, it has to have oil in order for it to operate like it should. There's the rest of it. Counter shaft and the main shaft. Ouch not supposed to look like that nope not at all so we get back at it here continuing to tear the shafts apart got the tail shaft housing there got to get all the metal out of it so we got nothing but aluminum to turn in and then it's time to clean up got to get all the tools cleaned back up get them wiped down put everything away where it belongs again i am going to be using the parts out of this transmission to make trophies for next year's car show so uh i'm going to put those in a box here get them all situated to where uh they can just kind of hang out until i'm ready for them so all right thanks for watching the video everybody so after full exploratory surgery on the transmission out of the ranger we have located the root cause of the failure that transmission's got some issues and that is no lubrication it locked this bearing up which then ruined this gear <laughs> 